Hey guys, welcome back to the channel to part number 11 of the Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. Today is a wonderful, glorious day, Sunday, 6.40 a.m. And Daisy is getting up to start her breakfast. And Simon is out jogging. Now, you guys, I was starting to record an episode, but then it wasn't really adding up to par. It just really wasn't getting to where I wanted it to be. So I ended up just canceling that recording. But basically in the recording, a couple things happened that even though they were interesting, they weren't really record worthy. Um, They went out for a dinner, but I was constantly getting annoyed. I wanted him to propose to her, you know, at that dinner, but I was constantly getting annoyed at the simple fact that every time, um, Every time Simon would try to order a table, the interaction get canceled out. And it was very annoying to the point where when we eventually figured out what the problem was, which the problem was the person that made the restaurant did not play test the restaurant. So there were a lot of things wrong with the restaurant. By the time we figured that out, it was already late and they had not eaten yet. So I was just like, okay, let me just send them home and Daisy can go ahead and prepare dinner. So that's what... That's what we ended up doing. Daisy, what are you going to do? Um, Daisy's going to eat a serving of pizza this morning. I probably should have her make some proper breakfast, but she's just feeling like having pizza this morning. Plus, she's really hungry because they didn't really eat last night. So she's just going to have that. And then I think today, maybe we can go ahead and make a nice box of macarons. Um, actually, we can't make a box of macarons. A plate of savory pastries. Plate of savory pastries. Just a single plate we can't make like oh that's ridiculous i would never i would never cook there's a lot of things that we can cook um i'm not gonna have her cook yet we also need to go ahead and check on brandon now i did if initially want brandon to spend time with mom uh but you know it just wasn't working out for us i'm gonna have her go ahead and pick him up this morning and we're going to go and um we're going to change his diaper and then we're going to give him a nice little um we're going to give him a nice little bath just to let's give him a quick bath just to clean him up and then we're going to change his outfit let me do that we're going to change his outfit i'm going to put this on him and then we're going to bring him downstairs to um and then we're going to bring him downstairs so that we can do some tummy time with him because we haven't really done tummy time with Brandon. So we kind of need to do all of these things. So right now, how, how did you get up here so fast? I didn't even know she was already up here. Okay, so she's going to go ahead and give him a bath and stuff. And then we'll bring him downstairs and we'll do some tummy time with him. I actually want Simon to kind of improve on his veterinarian skill. So that's why I have him out here doing some lab work. And then I also want Daisy to kind of work on some gems and jewels. But because of the fact that we have branded with us today it's not gonna be easy i did have simon feed the cow plant for us this morning so cow plant should not be doing too horribly and then we need to focus on our plants which by the way they seem to be growing up um they seem to be going up so one of the things that i want to do is actually bring there is a little play mat outside um and i'm thinking of putting brandon here so I think we'll change Brandon's outfit and then we'll bring Brandon and put him out here since, you know, dad is there. I like these little things because you can actually just bring them with you so you can put the infant on. And so I kind of just want to um, keep Brandon outside with us because we're going to be at home today in the backyard, kind of focusing on skills and stuff, cleaning up the house, cleaning up the yard, that kind of stuff. So she's going to go ahead and change Brandon's outfit, I'm assuming. She, that's what she's doing. And he already had that outfit on, but he's so adorable. Look at his little head. Well, his big head, but <laughs> um, she's going to go ahead and take him downstairs. And we're going to put him in the little, um, in the little, whatchamacallit, on the little play mat outside just so that she can kind of work on the garden and everything while he's out here. So I'm going to have her go ahead. She's going to weed all of the plants. We're going to water them. We're going to also um, sell everything that is out here because we really do need to do that. And Simon is going good on his little um, 
his little skill here. Let's check on Brandon. Brandon is feeling a little bit fussy. Is it possible for him to play with the toys? Yes, he can. He can play with them. Oh, he's so adorable. Do you have hiccups? Does he have hiccups? He is feeling a little bit sleepy. So we can have him try to go night night. I know he's going to start crying when he does that. But in the meantime, Daisy is going to focus on her garden because we need to get at least some perfect plants. That's one of the goals is that she gets some perfect plants. So we need to have some perfect plants. And we also, the bees over here are feeling very enraged. So we're definitely going to have to try and calm the bees. And um, I think maybe try to have her bond with the bees, though. I feel like that's going to be a very bad idea, especially when those bees are enraged like that. These ones are calm, so maybe we can bond with uh, these ones. But as you can see, these bad boys are enraged. Look at the way they're flying around the box. They are not having a good time. So that's not going to be a good idea for us to do. He's on level two of the vet skill, which all he needs to do now is get to level three of the vet skill. And he should be able to get um, somewhere with his. Oh, so he, sh he is due for a promotion and he has work in 23 hours. So tomorrow is when he goes off to work. I do. I did cancel Daisy's job because I just felt like, you know, it just wasn't in the works for Daisy. I want Daisy to focus on her flower arranging and that kind of stuff, which is um what we're going to do today. Oh my God, them bees are tearing her ass up. Like, oh God. Oh God, she said beebsies, beebsies. <laughs> the beebsies was tearing her up. Okay, so. <laughs> I love that they call them beebsies. Okay, so she's going to go ahead and just water these plants here. Hopefully she can get access to this one, which I think she should. The bee boxes shouldn't really be bothering her too much. But if anything, I might just have to kind of move them back a little bit. Is this lady stuck here? Are y'all stuck? Because y'all, you just been standing there this entire time with that book in your arms. So I'm just going to reset her a little bit. I need for Simon to make some more friends, but I also need to generate some family for Simon because Simon doesn't really have any family. And um, I mean, my mom lives right across the street in this house here, mom and dad, and Simon doesn't really have any family members. So I'm going to kind of showcase the I'm going to showcase the um the mod that I use to generate the family here. So I use the life manager mod and let me click on Simon and show you guys how we work that. So basically, once you click on Life Manager, you click on Family Tree, we're going to generate a family tree for Simon Greenswamp. Ah. Simon doesn't have any family members, so we're generating family members for Simon. Now, I think once Simon is done there, the family tree should be generated. Simon's, Simon's family... Simon... Sorry, I'm sorry, I wear glasses, okay? Forgive me. Simon is finally getting to meet his long lost family members. Simon's parents will visit him shortly. Check out Simon's family tree to get introduced to the family members. So as you can see, we have a couple ghosts here in Simon's. Um... <gasps> Jeremiah is. Her dad is dead, Wayne. Oh, my God, you guys. And she, she didn't even. We're getting a phone call. From who? Oh my god, what, what, wait, what was that? Hi, Simon. So how come we didn't get the call that dad passed away? Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to go over there. And Daisy doesn't even know. And my stomach is empty, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, that is none of y'all concern. Them bees are gonna turn on you in a hot minute. Give them a couple seconds and they're gonna start eating her up. Watch. She's like, oh, I'm having such a good time. Beebsies, beebsies. Oh, 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 okay. These beebsies like you. <laughs> um, Guys. I am so sorry, but we're going to have to go over and check on mom. Let's go ahead and visit the, um, let's, let's visit mom. She's just like, babe, can you watch the baby? I'll be right back. I need to go check on mom. 
So um, we're going to go over there with Daisy. She needs to check out her mom. I did not even know that her father passed away. And this is... Sorry, I'm stretching. This is why I wanted to move them in with us. But I feel like if even if I would have moved them in, she would have just had this buff of being sad the entire time. But finding out through me that your parents died is not really the best. I mean, that sounded really bad. That's like, I'm not reliable or something. But oh my gosh, I had no idea. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. Go knock on the door. From unfulfilled dreams. Girl, shut up unfulfilled dreams we also need to focus on this plant something three times you already did that level four of the gardening skill what, what skill what, where are you in the gardening she's on level five why are these things not checking off and we evolved so many plants okay good because i was like what um where's my oh Oh no, she's crying. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now she must feel so alone. Let's go here. Oh my goodness. I'm I feel so sorry. And the house has just been so filthy, you guys. There's all this dust everywhere. Oh, mom. I think maybe we should move mom in with us. I honestly think we need to. We're going to go ahead and give her a hug and we're going to console about the death. I just saw that. Why didn't I just... I just saw that and it just disappeared. Where did it go? Oh my god. Literally, I just saw the option to console about death and... Go give your mom a hug. She's like, oh, mom, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. So Daisy and Vanessa, they're very supportive of each other. She's like, honey, let's take a picture. Um, Give your mom a family kiss. And I just saw the console about death. And now I'm not seeing it anymore. It's not in gossip. Deep thoughts. Console about death. She's going to be like, Mom, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. If I would have known, I would have been over here. I would have been over here sooner. I honestly just had no idea. And she's just like, baby girl, how could you have known? You know, your dad was old. It was about time. But I just wasn't expecting that. We weren't going to spend our forever golden years together, you know. And she's like, Mom, I honestly just think that maybe you should move in with us. You don't have to carry this burden by yourself, you know. I I just feel like you being alone, I want to be there for you. So we need to, um, I hate this. I hate this so bad because why did they change this? Like in the middle of the game, like you guys need to understand how I feel about, th I feel strongly about this, right? And my reason for feeling strongly about this is that in the middle of uh, this could have been done at the very beginning of the game, but they choose to do this at the very end of The Sims 4. And now I have to go through all of these little things trying to find, trying to find the interaction that I'm looking for. And that is very, very annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to discuss her sad mood and we're going to ask her for advice. I mean, I know she's 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 hurting right now and she's the last person that we should be asking for advice. She's just feeling very sad. She's like, "Give me a moment." And um you know, she's really sad and I don't understand why Sims cannot just portray the fucking emotion that they're feeling. You are sad, but you are grinning like a freaking hyena. Explain to me. Explain to me how that works. Oh, I'm so sad, but <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense to me. EA needs to work on that. Anyways, um, I want to ask her to move in. I want to ask her to join the household. Like literally, but I cannot find the interaction to do so. Let me try. Okay, let's try friendly. Activities. It's not. A, okay, it's in activities. Why is it in activities? 
Let's ask her to join the household. So we're going to be like, Mom, I honestly think that maybe you should stay with us, you know, because you shouldn't be living by yourself. So would you consider moving in with us? And she's just like, you know what, honey? I honestly agree. I think so. So she's going to move in with us. We're going to sell all of the furnishings of the house. Ooh, Mama brought some money with her. Mama had some money with her. So we're going to have her, um, we're going to have mom come and move in with us because in all honesty, having her live by herself is already hard on her. You know, she just lost dad and everything and it's just not really the best. And she's feeling really sad because she's now a widow. Vanessa seemed to respect the skill it took for Daisy to craft such a devious lie. Deception can be hard to pull off, but it can sure keep a conversation fun and full of mischief. I don't think de um I don't think Vanessa likes um deception. She doesn't like that. So um that's just gonna be where she draws the line with the both of them. She doesn't like the deception. Uh, one of the things that I wanted her to do, I don't think they had anything special in the house per se. Um, before we move, I do need to put this in the family inventory. Oh Lord, I moved her in too quickly. So I didn't get to put the camera in here in Daisy's photograph. I, <laughs> now look at that Daisy's just forever going to be implanted in the home of whoever is going to move in here next um okay so they now live here i think i'll just have her go ahead and head home they're both gonna go ahead and go home you know bringing mom to move in with us i think it's the best move for us right now because having her living by herself is just it's not really feasible you guys all right guys so they are at home oh is this um i think this is uh what's her name again addison's daughter I think this is Addison's daughter. Her name is Mariella. Um, but it doesn't look like we're able to click on Mariella. So that's absolutely okay. It looks like she was going away anyways. Oh, how did you get in here? How did you get in here on the floor? I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. But we're going to have Simon do some summy, tummy time with his son. Simon, can you go do some tummy time? Oh, he's playing with the cow plant. Oh, that's so cute. So I do need to give Vanessa a room in the house. And I did want to have a playroom downstairs. I'm, I want, But I do want for mom to feel comfortable. I don't think mom should be going upstairs and stuff like that. So... I will be, unfortunately, selling all of these things that are in this room here so that I can make a little room for mom. Um, let me just pop this outside because I don't want to delete that. I don't want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to work on furnishing this room for mom and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So I went ahead and gave her mom a room in the house. So this is mom's room. Let me put all the walls up so you guys can see. So I gave her this cute, colorful, kawaii looking room. It's pink. And she has her own little tree for her to prune in here. I gave her one of the older computers because she is not into the fancy stuff. I also gave her one of these old wind up radios from way back when and I gave her a pet mouse because I feel like she would want to have a pet so I gave her a pet mouse for now until maybe we eventually decide on if we want to get a cat or something uh but for now this is her room so I'm gonna go ahead and assign this bed and this is going to be Vanessa's room we're also going to um lock this door for everyone but Vanessa um, cause I don't really think Vanessa wants anybody in her room. So this is Vanessa's room right here. She stays downstairs. It's much easier for her to get around the house. She doesn't have to climb upstairs and that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to do. I also think I want Vanessa to do tummy time with, um, 
I want Vanessa to do tummy time with Brandon because uh, the parents are going to do something else. So you can stop doing that. Let Vanessa take care of Brandon for right now. And I don't think you ever got to level three. So you need to continue doing some lab work. Daisy is going to get herself a glass of water to drink. She also needs to clean out the spoiled food from the refrigerator and kind of clean up the house is looking kind of messy today and i also need her to go ahead and add the laundry to the washing machine so that we can start the um the laundry and stuff she actually needs to go ahead and pee so i might have her go ahead and do that please go ahead and um where's the toilet go ahead and use the toilet while you add it and mom is just trying to teach brandon but of course brandon is struggling his head is so big so i mean <laughs> i can see why he's struggling in that department oh god she needs to pee i think i'm gonna have her go ahead and pee right now before she pisses her pants i don't want her to piss herself in 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 the room so i'm just gonna kind of bring that up a little bit so she doesn't piss her pants and she's gonna go ahead and use the toilet and then i will have her focus on adding the laundry to the washing machine we kind of need to hit some milestones with mr brandon here so that's what we're trying to do um let me check and see if he's hit any milestones yet brandon is a growing infant but must rely on caregivers and older sims to help care for him learn more about infant care and lessons he actually is feeling very sleepy oh i think brandon just gave up I think he just gave up. So, um, I think Nana is going to give him a, oh, she's going to tell him you are my favorite. Aren't you the sweetest little thing? And she's going to go ahead and give Brandon a nap because I mean, she ain't really got nothing to do today. So she can go ahead and do that. It's nice that we have mom in the house with us. Girl, I thought I told you to do this laundry. Where you going to deal with the cow plant? Go add this to the washing machine. What's the problem? What the problem is, what the problem is, what the problem is, why you can't, okay, let me put this, maybe she was having a problem with that, but let me also check, is there anything on the walls that would be blocking us from using the washing, washing machine and dryer, let's see, okay, okay, everything seems to be in motion, girl, stop playing in my face, do laundry add to washing machine what's the problem now let's 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 get rid of this oh maybe we can put this in nana's room and nana can have some clothes on the wall nana we gonna put this right here you gonna take the star and put it in the hallway you don't need no star you're an old woman old woman you don't need no star come on girl do this laundry search the pockets what's the problem okay go here so then what's the problem? Oh, because this is turned backwards. Oh, my stupid Zill. It's turned backwards so she couldn't even access it. Okay, come on, mama. I think you'll be able to do it now. Search pockets. Yes, she can. And then she's going to go ahead and add this to the washing machine. We got some laundry we need to do. Mom. Oh, Brandon fell asleep. I wanted her to do these things with Brandon, but Brandon fell asleep. Brandon, I got to wake you up because I want mama to do it. I want mama to do it. Give Brandon a nap. I know. I know, baby. I know. I know. Mommy's going to give you a nap right now. Your grandmama going to give you a nap. Daisy is going to. What, Daisy, what you going to do? Oh, she's going to weed this plant. No. What is up with this plant? Because I can't weed it. No, we just gonna uproot it because i'm sorry i don't have access to this but what is wrong with you? where you going so we're gonna farm bombardier beetles yes, we, we're gonna farm some beetles and then i need her to kind of practice some yoga so she's gonna practice some yoga try to relax what do these bombardier beetles look like they look like cockroaches i don't like that maybe maybe we we should probably do something different Anyway, she's going to go ahead and do herself a nice little yoga routine. I should probably t turn this yoga mat around because I don't think she'd want to face the side of the building. But I mean, whatever she she's doing, she's good. 
she's good let's check on um simon and see how simon simon is feeling very very sad from loss in the family oh my gosh he also lost some people and i also need to go ahead and check his family tree to see what's going on so let's look in um his family tree and see who he has alive oh my god everybody in simon's family is is dead except for his mother his mother and augustine is calling us hey simon i think i have a crush yeah go for it whatever oh my gosh everybody in simon's family tree is dead the only person that's alive for simon right now is his mother oh his father's alive too so his mother and father dion and reyna i like that name reyna um and then when it comes to daisy the people that are alive for her so her her dad died and um i think her grandma and her grandpa are alive so her mom is alive as well and her mom has a job oh lord jeez mama has a job mama's a marketing assistant <laughs> mama is a marketing assistant and she is just looking at her grandson and she is happy because at least she got to see her grandson so that's awesome i think dad got to meet him as well but it is just unfortunate that he passed away and i think daisy daisy's feeling really focused right now but she can also see the sadness in um she can also see the sadness in simon so i think she's going to go ahead and she is going to be friendly and she is going to have a deep conversation with him you know she's going to ask him you know babe what's wrong because i can see that you're looking a little bit down today um so she's going to go ahead and have a deep conversation with him and she's also going to give him a hug because he really needs one she's going to give him a hug she's going to help to fix the bad relationship that he has with alex de Glossé. I don't know why he has a bad relationship with Alex. Uh, what level are you on in the veterinarian skill? He is on level three of the veterinarian skill, almost going to level four right now. He's feeling very down and depressed. So Daisy's going to come and have a conversation with him because she can sense that he is not feeling too good. I also need to pay attention to the chickens because they're getting old and they're going to be dying soon. We need to collect the eggs, clean the coop, and we also need to um, scatter some feed nearby. I know there's feed already nearby, but we're going to scatter some feed nearby. We're also going to vent to the chickens a little bit. You know, we need to chat it up with them a little because they're going to be dying soon. Why are you feeling so angry? Losing control. For fa girl, no, look, I'm sorry. I'm going to take that out because I don't know what the hell is our problem. Complete that. I'm so sorry, but girl, no. She wants to make a friend and she also wants to meet someone new. We're definitely going to do that, Daisy. Stop rushing me. I don't like to feel rushed. And my Sims is making me feel rushed. Out here talking about how I'm not making them live their dreams and shit. Like, can you not do that? Anyway, I know today is all about Daisy and her mom and whatnot. But I think I want to send Simon out for a little bit i think he needs to just go out and slap some drinks back because he is just having a horrible time i'm gonna have simon go to like a bar or something and probably have a couple of drinks and try to pump himself up and feel a little better because he did lost lose sorry he did lose a lot of family members today so we're not gonna stay in willow creek i think we're gonna go down to evergreen harbor i love evergreen harbor it was initially the world that i wanted to have my sim um, live in but then i changed my mind on that i had daisy live at daisy hovel to start off and now daisy is in a whole new lot she's at a whole new lot and that is where we're going to be permanently staying we're going to be staying on that lot until daisy dies her whole daisy's generation is going to be staying on that lot and we don't know when the second um generation will happen my apologies for that um we don't know when the second generation will happen but i will i will be working on that pretty soon um okay who's this oh she's a trick-or-treater today is halloween 
I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my goodness. Well, he's not really feeling the mood for Halloween anyways. So he's going to go ahead and order a drink and he is going to order his favorite drink and just try to get rid of the sad emotion that is lingering in the background because he is feeling quite sad today. So he's going to go ahead and order himself a drink and um, maybe try to even make some friends here. He wants to volunteer with family he wants to mount the fish i do need to take him fishing as well i really need to just stop for a second and focus on the things that my sims actually want to do i know i'm trying to tell a story but you know your sims have wants and needs and it's it's very important that you pay attention to your sims and the things that they want and need because of course your sims will want and need things so right now he's having his favorite drink, which is a glass of wine. Okay. He likes fruit nectar. Okay. That's awesome. I, first time I've had a Sim whose favorite drink is like a glass of wine. So he likes a glass of wine. He's going to go ahead and give a respectful introduction to this person here. He's also going to talk to Mindy Falcon Grove. Let's go ahead and give her a cheerful introduction. He's just going to try to have... A chat with the bartender as well so he's gonna be um, uh -huh. funny and he's gonna give this guy here a funny introduction I mean currently he's just trying to clear his mind from all of the sad things that's going on I really like this lot it's super cute he's trying to clear his mind from all of the sad things that are going on in his life right now and uh, we currently have a group that's gathering and they are the soulmate seekers they're looking to settle down with someone but we're not really we're not really um into that. Soybeans and soy wax. Harvest the soybeans. Collect the soy wax. I think this would be a great gift to take home to Daisy because she she has bees, but she also could plant soy wax. And she could also could plant soy to get soy wax. What are they talking about? Talking about paranoid sims don't like being around others that are whispering. What are they talking about? Oh, somebody's whispering. Okay, apparently Simon's now paranoid because somebody's whispering. What are you doing at the back of the bar, Simon? Did you need to go all the way back there just to get your drink? I swear, Simon's crazy. He's just like, yeah, let me get, let me grab my drink and just go outside. Simon is feeling happy right now. He discovered himself. He is awed by popularity. He is in a well-decorated bar and he's feeling good vibes hey simon i'm throwing a charity benefit party and inviting well-reputed philanthropists such as yourself to attend will you come you know what i'm actually gonna go this is quite hilarious because there's a ghost throwing a freaking party in a puppy park I need <laughs> if that is, if this doesn't <laughs> that's the funniest thing i've ever heard he is throwing a party at a puppy park and he is looking for the well-known philanthropists to join the party at the puppy park. So we're going to go down to the Pupperstone Puppy Park to witness this party that is happening. Dude, what are you wearing? You know what? It's a good thing you're a ghost. I can't really see your feet. How did you die? Did you die of freezing? Why is a ghost hosting a party at a park? And I do need to give this park a makeover. As a matter of fact, every time I travel to a lot in this world, I am going to be giving it a swift makeover because, <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I did all this talking this whole time. I don't even know where we had left off. Where had we left off? Oh my freaking God. I don't even know. I don't know when I paused this. I think I paused this when I was putting this lot down. I put the lot down. I did all this chatting, how to meet people in the video was paused. But anyway, the recording was paused. But anyways, um, it was a charity benefit party and things weren't really going too good. So I just decided to have him go home because um, there really isn't much going on. I did change the park. I added a whole new park down. Um. So it's a little bit different. There's a lot more things to do at the park. And I did have him meet a couple other people. I think I haven't met Faye and Vincent. Um, because I do want him to have a couple more friends. I don't remember if you guys saw him at the bar. Because to be quite honest, I can't remember when I paused the video. 
Um, but he did go to the bar, right? I don't know if you guys saw that part. <laughs> My memory is so bad. But anyways, we are like 36 minutes into the gameplay and I don't want the video to be too long. So I am going to have him head home. And um, I think we can kind of focus on them while they're at home. So we are at home. I think he needs to use the toilet. So I'm going to have him go ahead and do that. Where is Brandon? Brandon is outside. I am going to have Daisy go ahead and not Daisy. I'm going to have Nana come and um, comfort him. And we're going to go ahead and um, cuddle. And we are going to put him in the crib. I think we can go ahead and... Oh, we can give him a toy. We can give him a toy. Oh, she's back to her sadness again. Everybody's just sad and gloomy. It's so bad. Daisy is warming up in the living room, but I think Daisy needs to get a start on, a head start with dinner. I'm going to have her go ahead and cook something. What are we going to do? Let's do a meals. And I think today we can make a seafood boil. I think seafood boil sounds very interesting. So she's going to go ahead and make a seafood boil. Darth Vader is in the bathroom washing his hands. Um, though I do think maybe he needs to have like a little bit of a shower before. I'll, t I'll actually have him take a bath. Yeah, I'll have him take a bath. And then later on, everybody can kind of come inside. Mom, can you put... Oh, she's cradling him and she's watching the TV. Aw, I love to see this. I absolutely love to see this. She's watching the TV and she's cuddling with Brandon. This is too cute. She's watching the news. All right, so I guess once she's done cuddling him, she's going to go ahead and put him in the crib. She's just kind of checking on the 9 o'clock news to see if there's anything interesting going on. Daisy is making a nice seafood boil, and I think once the boil is done, we will invite everybody to come to the dinner table, and we'll sit down and have a little family, um, a little family chat with everybody. So where are you going to put him? Please tell me you're going to put him in the crib. No, put him in the crib, mom, please. Can you put him in the crib? Put him to sleep. Why are you putting him in the kitchen? Oh my God, Sims are so annoying. Why are you putting him in the kitchen? Thank you, put him in the crib. All right, and then we can go out. Well, that looks so good. Call to meal and eat. And we're going to call Simon and Vanessa to the meal. And we're going to eat as well. I got the scoop that some crazy, crazy party is happening at the Bluffs right now. We're not going to go. I am sorry. We will go another time. Right now is not the best time. Um, we didn't get any trick-or-treat kids. We didn't get any kids coming to do trick-or-treat at our... Um... What was this? Kaylee Allender. And Kaylee's very sad. She's just floating along sad. I'm telling you, like, it's it's Halloween and there's just a lot of scary things going on in the world. I'm sorry how we're all up in the leaves. Uh, but she's eating a nice piece of crab leg just now. Simon's going to come ahead and get something else for him to eat. And Daisy's just going to go ahead and ask him if he's feeling okay. So she's going to... Um, have a little bit of a chat with him. Let's go ahead and have a deep conversation. Maybe even worry a little bit about the baby's development because it's she just feels as though she hasn't really had much time to spend with him. We're also going to go ahead and express our fondness and let's go ahead and talk to mom as well. I think she's going to go ahead and ask her mom, you know, how she's feeling with everything. So she's going to have a deep conversation with mom. She's also going to gossip a little bit and she's going to talk about the cooking because she wants to know how everybody feels about the meal and then i think we'll have everybody head off to bed and we'll end off the episode i'm gonna remove this tree because you're getting in my damn way uh yeah we we, we gonna remove this tree and we're gonna remove this tree because you're getting in my way when i'm trying to tell a story and it's all these leaves in my face okay <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and do that. I think 
with everything that's going on daisy has enjoyed spending time with family i think daisy is very much family oriented so she's just gonna go ahead and accept that lifestyle change and uh, mom is coming to sit back down and uh you need to kind of talk to mom a little bit as well you know let just show her that you care so you're here he's going to discuss his fears about death and he's also going to go ahead and console her about the death that has you know that her husband has died so he's going to go ahead and he's going to tell her an engaging story and he's basically going to say you know i lost my i lost my grandfather as well we're also going to go ahead and welcome vanessa to the household i never seen that interaction before so that's pretty cool and um i think when all this conversation is done because vanessa is still having a chat she's going to go in here and she is going to um feed whiskers a treat we're also going to go ahead and um, talk to him, and ask him about his day. And then I think we can have Nessa just kind of go ahead and go to sleep because she's feeling quite, no, 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 before you head off to sleep, she needs to use the toilet. So I'll have her go ahead, use the toilet. She will brush her teeth. And then I think maybe we can have her just take a nice bath with soak. She's going to take a bath with some lavender foam and then she is going to head off to sleep. So I'm just going to have her, you know, take a nice little soak, relax herself, and then she's going to head off to bed. Daisy, on the other hand, just kind of leave your mom alone for a little bit. You know, she just needs some time. And I need to get this vacuum up and running because we need to start a cleaning routine on this vacuum because the house is filthy. So the vacuum is doing its thing. I don't think the upstairs section has... Um, Let me go ahead and put... Let me go ahead and put another vacuum down. I think we have like two vacuums. That would be great. So I'll put another vacuum down and that kind of stuff. All right. So I got a vacuum for upstairs as well. So the vacuum should be able to take care of all the dust that is upstairs. I need to get rid of this, um, this chest of drawers right here. And so she's going to go ahead and set it to start doing the cleaning around. And I'm going to go ahead and have them head off to bed. She is feeling very tired. So she's going to go ahead and sleep. Simon has got the gist correctly. He's going to go ahead and sleep as well. Baby boy is in his crib and he is fast asleep. So we're going to go ahead and end off this episode with everyone fast asleep and in bed. I think mom is still about to go ahead and take herself a nice little bath before she heads off to bed. I want to thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out my channel i really appreciate each and every one of you who leave comments under my videos letting me know that you love my style of play that you love my vi my videos in general the storytelling i thank you guys so much we hit 1000 subscribers and i'm super excited for hitting this milestone so i want to thank you guys for smashing the like button leaving comments and letting me know that you care i am going to be making the next video shortly and the video that i'm going to be making is going to be around how i get my game to be so fun and vibrant and i will leave the names of the creators in the description tumblr channels that you can go ahead and check out um where you can find all of the colorful stuff that i'm using and i also will be doing another video where i go very much in depth with how i create the sims because i did make a video before but somebody asked for a beginner friendly version where i go in detail so i think that would be another video that i could do anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end off this video right here thank you guys once again for showing love and support on my channel and i will see you guys next time bye guys